colleague of mine asked me, do you want to go with me to the summer teachers program at CERN? And we both applied and were accepted. So this um, summer we were three weeks at CERN. Well, in the last week of the high school summer program for the teachers, uh, I met uh, Gefried and we talked about um, teaching elementary particle physics. And so I learned that part of his project was to teach it to the first years of high school, the students that are first year in high school. His approach was just to start with elementary particle physics. Uh, usually you end with it. I immediately agreed with Gavrit that that was a kind of a stupid approach. Um, why not start with uh, quarks? So let's make a project, let's cooperate and work on a project to teach the elementary particle physics also in the lower years. At the University in Nijmegen, uh, there is also an IBSE project for the high school students of the first years. And um, so we are connecting with the University and CERN Education and uh, the high school network in order to realize this. One of the things we did here was evaluate uh, the microcosmos. So I thought, okay, we can evaluate it as teachers, but the primary target group are the students. Mm -hmm. So why not bring a group of students here, especially if as a special project to evaluate the microcosmos and then give a presentation to the people of CERN. So there would be a direct feedback to CERN from uh, the target group, the high school students. And he was so enthusiastic that he actually managed to arrange this trip. And then he really told me, you have to come as well, because you have to meet these people in the education department at CERN as well. And yeah, he was really, really enthusiastic. Yeah. If I go to CERN with a group, then I want it to be inquiry based. So I want, that they have, I want them to actually research something, to have an active project, and not just uh, go there as kind of consuming CERN, but I wanted them to be active at CERN. The Einstein formula of uh, equivalence of, of mass and energy. It takes the masses of the two particles and uh, the opening angle between uh, the trajectories of the two particles. In uh, event three, there was a natural decay. Get very fast through the events mm -hmm. to try to. Uh, if you see a right track, so they have, uh, they have identified three Z, Z particles. Yeah. The last part of the exercise to find the Higgs boson. Is the mass of the Higgs boson? They have not the mass of the discovered Higgs. Eight events. Seven. Okay, you have found? Seven. From? Fourteen. Okay. Four and eleven events. It makes me feel really smart <laughs> doing this. At the age of seventeen we've actually seen the entire world of research. Well, we've learned how actual science goes. I wouldn't know if uh, that's uh, if I want to well, appoint my life uh, to uh, doing uh, that. I don't know, I still need to figure that out for myself. I think the most impressive thing was that all of the people here are just people like us. It was really fun to see just that you, you could do some things yourself and well, it's not well, it's, it's pretty amazing, the, the science about it, and then it's all packed together in such easy steps, so, well, even a college student can do it already. It's just a pleasure to watch them sitting in the restaurant and being like, oh, this is a Nobel Prize winner, and we've talked about Atlas, and it's, it's just really, really rewarding. And, yeah, I think this is just, that would, that's the message we want to bring out. I mean, CERN, it's also one of the best places to be a part of that. Well, I, I learned a lot here about uh, physics and uh, stuff. I'm pretty sure there will be a time when we can use that for ourselves. A lot of times girls have a, a very negative opinion about their uh, skills in mathematics. <laughs> when I look at here at CERN, there are a lot of girls, so I think I won't be the only girl. I can say definitely that I've grown with this experience. This entire week has pretty much strengthened me.